Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Welcome to part one in our Smart Home series on energy efficiency. Today, we set out to find the best high efficiency water heater for your home. Water heaters use about 20% of the energy in our homes, but few of us ever think about this when we buy a water heater. We enlisted Ken McCullough of Think Mechanical to help us compare and ultimately buy and install a super energy efficient water heater. It's a device that's going to constantly be drawing on that energy, so it's important to know that you have the highest efficiency that you can possibly have, otherwise you're just throwing money out of the window. Only about 12% of the cost of a conventional water heater is the cost of the device itself. A shocking 88% is the cost for the energy needed to heat the water, typically natural gas. Over the life of the device, you're going to see your savings in the, in the efficiency of the equipment. So the upfront cost really is, is negligible over the life of the unit. The idea is simple. Spend more on the water heater and spend a lot less on the energy you buy to fuel the water heater. So what factors should we consider when looking at an efficient water heater? You've got budget, obviously. Those are some of the first things people think about is cost. And then you've got the cool factor. Are people willing to accept new technologies? How far are you willing to go with your choices? And then you've got energy efficiency, uh, which you know, range from 60% all the way up to 300%. And then you've got cost. How much is it gonna cost you to operate that unit over the life of the unit? With these four things in mind, we asked Ken to show us three super energy efficient water heaters. First up, the power vented natural gas water heater. So you've got the power vented tank here. This is not a high efficient power vented tank, but this they look exactly the same. There's no difference in how they physically look. This one, uh, it's a two pipe, so you'll be drawing air in from outside and, and, and instead of using the, whole, the air in your home to in your combustion cycle. Uh, the advantage of this one is that it's uh, slightly higher efficient and it's got a high recovery rate. Some of these tanks have up to 80% of the first hour recovery rate, so if you use it up in the first hour, it's gonna recover 80% of the tank. Second up, the tankless on-demand natural gas water heater. Now you've got the tankless hot water heaters. These are super high efficient. These are the highest efficiency as far as natural gas burning hot water heaters go. And these ones um, will give you consistent hot water up to a certain capacity. So you've got, if you've got a home with four or five people in, this will do, this will do the job for you. The other advantage of this is once you take out your standard hot water tank, you've got tons of space. This is gonna take up all that floor space and you can reuse that space for storage or for whatever you want. Our third choice for energy efficiency is a new hybrid heat pump water heater. And so we have the heat pump hot water tank, which is a, a, the highest efficiency, up to 300% efficiency. Picture this tank with a cap on top and inside that cap is a heat pump. That heat pump is drawing heat out of the mechanical room, which often have excess heat and putting that heat into the water. So we're looking at 300% efficiency, no gas, it's perfect for net zero homes. I must confess, I love the idea of the hybrid heat pump water heater. And I'd love to live in a net zero home and produce all of my own energy. But my home is not powered by solar and I still have a gas furnace. So I went with the most efficient gas option. In the end, we chose the Renai tankless water heater. It was the most efficient gas model that we looked at and it was at the best price. Ken says tankless water heaters and the new hybrid heat pump tanks are being chosen mostly by early adopters keen on energy efficiency. But he thinks that tankless water heaters have overcome early hiccups and are well on their way to becoming widely adopted. The uptick has been slow uh, and I think that's because of maybe some of the reputation that, that tanklesses have had. But I think as I'd say in the next year or two years, and they're just going to be a normal part of a new home installation. In case you're wondering, there are a few ways of heating water that we didn't include in our analysis. A lot of people ask us about solar heating. Uh, we never really recommend solar heating for residential homes, just for domestic hot water, because the cost payback isn't going to be there. The only time I, I, we recommend solar heating is on a pool or on a, on a commercial building that has a high volume of uh, domestic water use. Well, there you have it. To summarize, the price of our tankless water heater was the lowest of the high efficiency options that we looked at. And when combined with the Alberta energy efficiency rebate, it made it easy to invest in a super energy efficient water heater. My family experienced a bit of a learning curve using the new tankless water heater, but we love this water heater already. 
If you're not comfortable being an early adopter, the high efficiency power vented tank might be just the thing for you. Or if you're all in on energy efficiency and you're building a solar powered net zero home with no gas line, then the new hybrid electric heat pump water heater might be just the thing for you and it was by far the most efficient water heater we looked at. There are many different choices for water heaters. We chose these three to highlight three different options for high energy efficiency. You may get better pricing, but our choices are based on actual quotes in Canadian dollars. Our tankless water heater costs $3,700, but with a rebate factored in, we expect to save about $2,000 over the life of the water heater. Want to learn more? Check out our blog, podcast, and photos at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Stay tuned for part two in our Smart Home series. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. We chose the tankless water heater for our conventional home with a gas line. But if you want to see how the super energy efficient hybrid heat pump water heater is used in a solar powered net zero home, check out our story on the most affordable net zero home in Canada.